Barton Hills, in its earliest roots, was the idea of Alex Dow. And there's some speculation, not a lot of proof, that the name Barton Pond came because Mrs. Dow was an avid reader of Jane Austen, and Barton Pond was the site of the cottage in Sense and Sensibility. He, in turn, was president of Detroit Edison. So the concept was that they would build Barton Dam, and then they would sell electricity to everybody that was up in the, in the uh, hills above Barton Pond. The village had a building boom in the 20s, Never enough, really, to amortize the cost of the dam for Detroit Edison, but enough of a building boom to give the village kind of a start. And some of the really grand homes in the village are the ones that were built in the 1920s. It's hard to imagine that in 1919, the idea of a community or village with its own golf club was still a pretty novel idea. There were only uh, a couple examples of where uh, Francis Olmsted, many people know Olmsted of course for Central Park, and Belle Isle, and uh, the, the Arboretum here at the University, and Donald Ross, the, the iconic golf course architect, actually joined forces. Olmsted had very definite ideas about how people wanted to live. He used uh, large wooded lots to give people a sense of privacy but at the same time, the width of the lots were such that there was a sense of community and people felt connected to one another. Part of the choice of living in Barton Village is you might want to live on Barton Pond and you may want to benefit from the vistas and just the feel that you get from living on a large body of water. The other side of the village is interesting. We live up here in the sort of the high ground. And then of course at the top of the hill is the golf club. The golf course, which was a Ross design of 1921 and 22, was just completely restored this past fall, in the fall of 2012. Uh, a million dollar project, you know, 56 bunkers restored, greens reclaimed, tee boxes added to give a variety of skill levels a chance to enjoy the Donald Ross you know, golf architecture. Uh, and that was just done. You go down the hill and you have a full swim program. Right next to that is a tennis program. Then you go inside the clubhouse and you have an executive chef that regularly wins some of the gourmet uh, cuisine competitions around southeastern Michigan and a pretty, pretty deep wine list. And uh, you've got a pretty special environment. The biggest plus, however, is you're not planning yourself in the middle of Manhattan or downtown Chicago. You're planning yourself in a community where the city's 100,000, give or take. The metro area is maybe 240. And from where we live here, we can get to a Michigan sporting event or concert in 10, 12 minutes. And that includes finding a parking space. It's tough to be. It's quality of life. Thanks for watching this Reinhardt Neighborhood Spotlight. To learn more about the Charles Reinhardt Company, visit us at reinhardtrealtors.com. And if you'd like more information about the City of Ann Arbor and many of its great neighborhoods, feel free to click either of the links below. Thanks again.